In what seemed like an instant, our definition of normal was upended by a faceless force that has prompted unprecedented change to almost every aspect of our lives. In daily press briefings that reflect the new social distancing edicts, the governor ordering theaters and bars to close and limiting restaurants to takeout and delivery service, shuttering institutions like the 24-hour Jersey Diner. Cities have imposed curfews, turning downtowns into ghost towns. Parks, a municipal resource we've come to take for granted, closed until further notice, removing one more option from frazzled families. In the supermarket, long lines and short supplies, leaving shelves empty and turning staples like toilet paper into commodities. Face masks, now a standard accessory, albeit also in short supply, forcing improvised solutions. We are socially distant. International travel bans have emptied airport concourses and socializing limited to groups of 10 or less and six feet apart. Hazmat suits, makeshift tents outside hospital emergency rooms, smiles in short supply too, signs telling us what we can't do anymore, where we can't go, and so many hazmat suits. The number of infected people will continue to rise, as will the death toll. There will be a cure, or at least a vaccine for coronavirus, we're told, but that's on some distant horizon. A year from now, maybe. But what kind of jersey will we be left with? That will be up to us. And the time to decide that is right now. Because while we wait for science to catch up, we can hold the virus at bay by following some simple guidelines of personal responsibility and putting common sense and community over fear and loathing. I'm David Cruz, NJTV News. Thank you.